Hey everyone, it's Exo Man. Look, I was about to stick this turkey in the oven and I realized it was late in the afternoon and I needed to cook quickly. So what am I doing? I'm cutting out the backbone. I just did that, check it out. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this at some later date. Uh, I didn't have time today, but I thought I would show you that this can be done. So I'm gonna take this bird now and I'm gonna cook it in a lot less time by virtue of having removed the backbone. Okay. Look at that. This is called spatch cocking. And uh, another trick to uh, speed up your cooking process is to not stuff your bird. But I have spatch cocked it and it will cook much more quickly. This will go in the soup pot. This is more or less part two of this video. Why the long face, Poe? Well, see, Poe has not eaten yet. Poe is hungry, and so is Bear. And it's, uh, it's about an hour past where they normally eat in the morning. So look at my messy laboratory here. There's the spatchcocked turkey that I roasted. It's been sitting in the cold. And uh, here's some of it ground up. Isn't that nice looking? Look at that. Ground up turkey. Look at that face. Okay. So what I've done is I've, I've put it in the food processor. I've got stuff all around. Look, I've got carrots here. I've got sweet potatoes here. I've got sweet potatoes and carrots cooking. So what's, what's occurring right now is that people... People are fearful, and they are, they have been, this keeps happening. It's, it's silly, it's unnecessary, but people keep buying certain items, and there's, there's currently a run on the fresh food that we buy for our dogs in the store. So we're resorting to making our own, which we do all the time anyway. But normally that's in season, when I have good fish off of my pier, I'll net fish and use fish for the protein, which makes an excellent uh, food for them. But so we're using this turkey. Now let me tell you the story of this turkey. These were on sale during uh, Thanksgiving. They were on sale, I think, because, uh, well, I think the stores bought, just bought too much, too many turkeys. I, I don't know what happened. And I think it had a lot to do with, uh, with COVID. And I think there was a concern by the stores that people weren't going to be gathering. Maybe that was why the turkeys, the bottom dropped out of the price. So I was buying big turkeys for around seven, eight dollars. And uh, you bet I filled my freezer with them. And I'm, uh, I'm making good use of them, right? So we're going to guesstimate today about, uh, I think about 30%, 35% protein. We're going to use vegetables. I'm going to put fat in. But if you're making food for your dogs, just research it. Research the percentages. Make sure you check all your ingredients. Don't put anything like, I think, avocado. Don't put things like that in for fat because that's bad for dogs. Uh, just just do your research. Uh, anyway, we're going to put this together. I've got some broccoli. I've got some uh, peas. Again, yams and carrots, sweet potatoes and carrots. And we're going to have a wonderful food within minutes. I promise. I promise. And we're going to have plenty to put in the fridge. Yeah, we're going to make about 10 pounds of this stuff. Coconut oil. I am told that the uh, medium chain triglycerides are really good for dogs digestive systems. Put that right in there and let that melt on those hot veggies. And then we'll mix it in. I'm just gonna put it. Just again check your percentages of fat and protein. 
we are going to guesstimate a little bit here just to get these dogs fed for the next few days and you're going to see a lot of people very critical in the comments saying you're going to hurt your dogs you're not doing it right well i used to feed my dogs table scraps growing up and they were fine so we'll get by i've got some broccoli which is high in uh, vitamin c it's got good fiber but uh, i'm not going to put a lot in because it can irritate the uh, intestinal tract of some dogs too much. that one in uncooked so that's going to provide a lot of extra extra uh, vitamins and minerals hopefully that way that's that is an ongoing argument about cooking food but you don't lose all your vitamins and minerals by cooking it people will tell you you do but you don't i mean you can obviously you can survive on cooked food um, so but if you can put it in green if it's easy enough certain vegetables do so there's some tomatoes nice diced tomatoes now we're just going to add some brown rice and we'll be ready to go we'll mix that all up but look at it Okay, a couple of final things. I couldn't, I, I'm out of brown rice, it turns out, so we'll have to make do with white rice. Not ideal, but it's, it'll be fine. Um, when I cook the rice, I don't like to overcook it. I like to keep it uh, to the tooth, as it were. A little bit of texture, a little bit of crunchy. Just, I like the dogs to have something more than mush when they eat their food. So that will resemble a little bit of you know, bone fragment or something like that. So it can be very satisfying, I think. Okay, so I weighed this with the pot. I mean, with this bowl, it's 12 pounds. So we've easily got about 10, 10 and a half pounds of food here. And uh, you can, you might find yourself throwing leftover vegetables, leftover proteins, things like that in these foods. And this will end up costing you if, if you find bargains, this will cost you less than cheap, crappy dog food that is really bad for your dogs. And this is really good for your dogs. There is a little over a pound for the big boy. Yeah. Hey, Poe. It's not hot. Is it good? You know that has the turkey skin ground up in there too, huh? Mmm. And this guy, he, he's in his 80s for dog years, right? And he gets his medicine. It's an inflammation drug uh, because he has inflammation. And he, I just drop it in there and he eats it right up. You know I mean? They'll eat anything that goes in there. You don't have to trick them. Okay, now somebody's cleaning up my mess. <laughs> it was a little bit messy, wasn't it? It was shockingly messy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I'm sure it's partly you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> so, anyway, clean up my laboratory, woman. Thank you for making the food. You're welcome. <laughs> also, be sure to check out NC Statewide Safety Conference for your safety training needs. And that is ncsafetyconference.com. So what do you think you roast a day? Sometimes lately 20 pounds. A lot. Yeah. yeah. 20 yeah. pounds probably. Yeah. Um, we're ramping up slowly, but actually the last couple of weeks it's been getting busy. So love it. You're a busy girl. It smells like coffee everywhere around here. <laughs> I love Banshee Moon Coffee. I Me it, too. Drink mm. it every morning. And it smells so good. I bring it to the post office and they're like, what smells so good? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. My packages. <laughs> and where do you get it? Uh, Etsy.com slash shop slash Banshee Moon. And what does it make uh, a good gift for? Christmas, <laughs> birthdays, Father's Day, Mother's Day. Oh. Yeah. 
Good thinking. Flag day. <laughs> President's day. Veterans day. Yes. All right. Nice. Yeah.